Hey, this is Dr. Canario, and uh, today I got uh, some of Dan's sauces, uh, Dan's new sauces over at Red Hawk Premium Peppers. A uh, couple new ones, and uh, some placenta powder that I'm scared of, but uh, today we're going to do the uh, Evil Granny. But uh, ingredients for that is water, green hot peppers, including Buchiloki and Seven Pod and Habanero varieties. Apple juice, sweet onions, green apples, including Granny Smith, vanilla, kosher salt, and spices. As you can see, it's fairly a lot thinner than his other sauces. So, and I took the liberty of uh, I thought it was a uh, plastic like the uh, other sauce, the wildfire one that I've got it for of him as well, but. Uh, this one was wax, and it was uh, it was real fun to get that shit off of there. <laughs> All right. This shit is thin. Oosh. Don't want to spill it. I'm not pulling a needle today. Anyway, good enough there. That one's great there. <clears throat> you get the apple, but it's a real apple flavor. It's not like a Jolly Rancher, you know? Nobody likes that synthetic apple flavor except little kids, I think. So you get that, but then right away, straight away, the, uh, don't know if anybody's ever used green peppers, the green super hots to do anything at the end of the season, you know, in fear that they might not ripen, but if you haven't, it's a good thing to do. They're, uh, it, it's a whole different characteristic. It hits you all in the tongue real fast. It's like a flash, but then it goes away fast. Using the green peppers is an awesome idea for this. It's uh, damn good. I'm thinking fried chicken or fried fish or something like that. Any kind of uh, white protein would be good as well. Only criticism I have of the sauce is this plastic thing on here. That was <laughs> that was fun getting that off. But uh, no, it's an excellent one. Just a mild glow, teeny bit in the throat and right here on the on the tongue, a little bit on the roof of the mouth as well. But the apple stays there the whole time. A lot of times when you use super hots and they kick in, the other ingredients go away. With well, this one, they don't go away. They, the apple stays there the whole time. But a lot of things. I'd love to have this with a Thanksgiving, with the bird and the, the dressing and all that stuff. That'd have been good. So, but anyway, I think Dan's got another winner here. If you're interested in it's uh, Red Hawk Premium Peppers, uh, Dan Lowenstein on uh, on YouTube. Uh, Red Tail Forester on the uh, on Chili Grover and THP. Anybody watching this video probably knows him anyway. So, but uh, Dan, you got another winner there. Next, I'll do the uh, wildfire sauce with the pain sprinkled on top, which is gonna suck probably. But oh well, he sent it. I gotta do it. Anyway, thanks, Dan, for sending this out. And if you wanna fruity sauce that's not over the top fruity and can go with quite a few savory things that's a good one there there's a million apple sauces apple hot sauces coming out all of a sudden and uh not all of them stack up but that's a good one there definitely so. all right i'm gonna wrap it up little glow here here and a little glow in the stomach because i haven't eaten anything today so but uh I don't know, maybe a 6 out of 10 for heat, 7 out of 10 for heat, but anyway, Evil Granny. <laughs>